Hey there, YouTube. Sorry for the wait again on the uh, videos here. Um, it will be my break soon on the 21st of February, and I will be able to finish the rest of the uh, of the story mode. So that will be great. I know everyone's excited for that. Um, so this episode, uh, I guess before I say anything, please don't miss this uh, prize bubble here. So yeah, just give a little jump and you got it. Um, so basically, this level was the other level I was talking about previously that I said the uh, Papage software um, matched me over. So basically it froze, and it just all of a sudden, you know, thought it would be funny to freeze while I was mid-game. So um, it did, and it froze at around two minutes in this uh, level. So a lot of the prize bubbles here, you don't get to see me grab them for the first time once I hit that mark. I'm extremely... Once again, I ex I am extremely sorry for that. Sorry, uh, tongue twister. Um, it was extremely annoying for me. Trust me, I'm a perfectionist, so it got me going nuts. But what can you do, right? You guys still will be able to see the hundred items at the end of the level, just because I handled the multiplayer part for last. So you will be seeing that, and I also I think you'll see the ace items as well because. Uh, when I had to redo it, I aced it that time. It, this level was actually one of the more easier levels of this um, of this world. Um, no real hard obstacles, no real hard prize bubbles. Just sort of walking grab sort of thing. Make sure you to free all the sack bots, but you guys already know that. So they make this cool little bridge. You gotta swing over. Uh, Naruto does that a couple times if you guys watch that. So, pretty cool. Okay, so now we're approaching the garbage crusher and where it cuts off. It's gonna cut off right about here. So I just switch over to my second playthrough. And uh, so just to let you guys know, I still will be getting all the bubbles and showing you their locations. Uh, but sadly, we won't get to see the little first bubble found sort of thing that we always see. Uh, we will see it in the multiplayer area though, so I apologize for that. I'm pretty sure I it bugs me more than it bugs you. So um, we're gonna head down here, first two set of bubbles here, so don't miss those. Alright, so now we're gonna get a little multiplayer flash screen. This is a two player one again. Um, this one's pretty simple. I don't know, everything in this level is pretty simple. So, I guess it's uh, after all the hard effort you put in the uh, other levels in this world. Okay, so basically you get your two characters, and you kind of just move into position quickly and press the button, whichever, so you don't kind of die here, right? See, I didn't know that I had to jump the first time, but uh, I realized the other times. So here's my buddy here, and you just uh, go with your buddy and uh, drag him into the right area and press the button. I'm sure this one is possible with the analogs, although it's going to be a little uh, tricky, but I'm sure it won't be too hard to grab uh, a second controller or get someone to help help you with this part. So there's a fourth press, and uh, we're ready to collect our prize. So I believe this is, uh, I can't see his name there. I will show it again at the end. So we're just going to head over to the uh, end of the level now. Oh, so I had this cool little part. I kind of jumped back to show you, just to make sure I grab those prize bubbles. I did the first round when they were actually there, so it kind of bugged me. So uh, I just want to go back and show you. It's You can do it in one, in one full jump. Just uh, make sure you lose a couple of the stack already, and then just make the jump like that and you don't have to die. So here's just basic rotating wheels. We've seen a couple of these in uh, Little Big Planet 1. I think they were made out of cardboard, if I believe correctly. And they were a lot harder to get the prize bubbles than those ones, because you actually had to run across them and all. So um, these ones, all you can do is just wait in these intermediate areas and uh, wait for the bubble to come to you. So there's another one here.
and we're going in another garbage and proceeding to the next part of the level. So just make sure you don't jump down right away. That way you just stand on the ledge and you can get up and grab that nice little prize bubble. If you miss it, I guess you can always die in the fire or get crushed. You can head back up to the top. The other ones there were pretty simple to get, so should be no problem for you guys. And of course, lots of garbage cans. Obviously, they did that because they could just reuse the uh, object they made over and over, but it's still a cool object. So I like it. Yeah, one thing about those cardboards, make sure that you're not jumping as it's disappearing, which is what I, which is what the delay I was waiting for. Because if you jump while it disappears, you actually get a less of a jump than you usually would. I noticed that, so I kind of just like made sure that it wasn't uh, about to delete a part of the stack. So we got these cool little cranes here now. Um, basically, if you don't want to die. Make, just grab a hold of the barrel ahead of time because those pinchers can squish you. See, just like this and you're fu you're fine. So... Comrades. Got some weird robots going on in this level. It's a little big compared to the other ones. Or I guess because they're sack bots. Okay, so this incredibly, for some reason, long jump. <laughs> So, I'm just gonna make it to the end here. Release the last set of sack bots that can help us make it over. So, we've got our little uh, Naruto style fold onto each other's sack bots and fly across the other side. So, that's always fun. And we save them after by hitting the switch. Yeah! So this is, uh, it's so annoying. I would love to show you guys the uh, actual prize bubble there. So, so there's the four that you would get there from collecting all the sack bots. You can actually collect 14, so there's room for error. Okay, so here's first my second playthrough that I uh, did A, so there's a couple uh, ace items. And now I can luckily switch back and show you the 100% because of the multiplayer. So, we get a stapler upper and a stapler lower. Whatever that was, right? I have no idea. Okay, guys. See ya on the last level of World 3 coming up next.